This video is sponsored by iFixit. I paid $400 for a broken Cyberpunk Special Edition Xbox One X on eBay to see if I could fix it. Let's open it up and see what I got. Now I did pay $15 for shipping. These are the photos of the product that I bought from the eBay listing. And the description says, this listing is for the unit only. It does not include any accessories. The front USB on this unit is non-functional. Theoretically, this should be an easy fix, but let's find out. And it's always fun to see how eBay sellers package items. This one's not the worst I've seen. Definitely would have been nice to have some more packaging on the edges, but let's see if it's damaged from shipping. And the bottom side looks pretty good. The front looks good as well. I see no exterior damage on the front USB. The top looks to be in mint condition, actually. It's in really nice shape. I love the Xbox One X Special Editions because they've actually got real scratches and real ridges and stuff in these, and I just love the look and feel of them. That's one of the main reasons I love buying these things to fix them is just because they look so cool and I just hate seeing them not working. So it looks like this one has been opened. So I think it's time to open it up ourselves and see what's going on with that front USB port. My guess is they smashed the connector from the USB cable to the motherboard, but let's find out. I'll be using one of my favorite toolkits, the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. The main thing I love about this kit is it's got all sorts of pry tools and tweezers to get into basically any device along with a full driver and bit set. I'll be using a T8 and a T10 first. Okay, and this is the connector that I was guessing is smashed, so I need to remove these two screws. Let's find out. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh, that actually looks fine i see no problems there now there still could be a problem with this cable down here but i think i'm actually going to turn this on now and test that front usb port and see if it works for me i do get a number of consoles that the seller says they're broken but then when i get them and test them they're actually not broken so i actually hope that's not the case with this because i would like to make a video out of this so let's find out. I'm gonna turn the Xbox on. Now that's a cool startup sound. Okay, and the controller did connect through the front USB. I'm gonna get this Xbox all set up and see if this front USB port keeps working or if I find any problems with it. So now it's fully updated. Now I'm gonna do another test of this front USB port. Now that it's ready for the controller, Let's press the button and see what happens. Okay, there we go, let's press A. Okay, and I would say this front USB port definitely works, but I do need to test it and see if there's any other problems. Sometimes these larger sellers will get them mixed up with the different problems between the different products. So I'm gonna test most of the other functions on this Xbox and see if I can find any other problems. Yeah! So I've been playing Rocket League for like 20 minutes, no overheating, no issues in the game, no issues in the dashboard. So I'm not sure what's going on with this Xbox, but in my testing, everything is working completely normally. So I've got another console that I wanted to make a repair video about that's not actually broken. But I don't wanna waste this video. I'm still gonna make a video about this Xbox. I'm gonna show you guys how to list it on eBay and see how much we can get for it. So I'm gonna get logged into eBay and let's get it listed. So I've got eBay pulled up with the Xbox One X Cyberpunk Edition. Let's check prices on the solds, then we know about how much we can sell this one for. Now that I have this all pulled up, I'm gonna go over here and check the condition of used. Then scroll down further and check the box for sold items. This will bring up all the sold items. 
And this first one here was $499. Now this is the console with two controllers. And then we have $305 down here, $265 for this one. Now eBay has a great feature where you can go to a specific listing and just click sell one like this and it'll pre-fill a lot of the fields. So I'm actually gonna go down to check the box for parts or not working. This should be, since there's only one, it should be the one I bought. And there we go. So I'm gonna go over here to sell one like this. So now a lot of the fields are already pre-filled. So let's start with the title. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna leave everything the same except for take this part out and we're gonna say console only. In the item description, I wanna make sure that any potential buyer knows that there's no controller or cables and it's the console only. Also, this is gonna be a no returns auction. That being said, if someone gets it and something is wrong with it or it's broken in shipping, they can still return it no matter whether it's a no returns auction or not. So for selling details, we're gonna go with an auction style. If I was trying to get the maximum amount possible, I would just list this as a fixed price if there was a certain price I wanted to get for it. But since this is part of a video, I need to get it sold quickly. This is not going to maximize the price that we get for it, but that's one of the things I have to do since I'm trying to get a video done. Starting price of $1, buy it now price of 450 and no reserve price. I do have $19 listed here, depending on where it goes, it could cost a little bit more than that, but that should be pretty close. Okay, now I'm going to save it as a draft. Then we'll take our photos and upload them. Once the photos are uploaded, we'll list it. Now we have our photos, we've got the title, we've got all the item specifics, we've got the category, description, we've got an auction starting at $1 for three days for $450 buy it now price, UPS ground, buyer pays shipping. Now eBay will charge a final value fee, which will be quite a high fee on something like this, but eBay also has the traffic that other marketplaces don't have. So eBay still is one of the best places to sell stuff like this. This video is not sponsored by eBay, but eBay still is, in my opinion, the best place to buy and sell stuff like this even though I have pretty strong negative opinions about a lot of the way eBay does things. So let's get this listed. And there we go. So now we have to wait three days to see what the bids come in at. Unfortunately, I did not buy this console in order to make money. I bought it because I thought I'd make a great repair video on a cool special edition console. So I paid a lot more than I would have if I was trying to buy it to resell it and try and make a profit. So please remember, I was not trying to make a profit on this item, but once we see what the bids come in at, we'll see how much money I lost. Obviously, you know how YouTube works. I get paid to make these videos and that's where I make the money. I don't generally make money on a lot of the items I buy unless I'm buying specifically to try and make money on that item. It's been three days and we're down to the last 15 minutes of the listing. So I'm gonna keep track of it and see how far the price goes up in the last 15 minutes. Right now we're sitting at $233.50. So let's see how much it increases in the last 15 minutes. Also, if you've been around eBay very long, you know that people with very little feedback are usually the ones that will bid on stuff and not pay for it. So that's the other issue. After this auction ends, I might not actually even get paid for it and I may have to just relist it. I'm really hoping a reputable buyer will come in near the end and buy it, but you never know. Unfortunately, it's too easy to just go in on eBay and bid things up and then just not pay for them. And at two minutes, the bid has still not changed. And here we are at one minute left. Come on, this is when the bidding happens. Hopefully, 45 seconds, no change. 30 seconds, no change. Come on, let's at least get to 250. 10 seconds left. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Ah, seriously. Ah, here we go. We did get a last minute bid. So that was maybe a little anticlimactic, but at least we got up over $250. You can see there was two bids that came in at the last second. We had a $250 bid and then a $255 bid come in 
at the very last second. So now it's time to get this boxed up and ready to ship. I'm gonna wait until the buyer pays just to make sure they're actually gonna pay and then we'll get it shipped out. Before we do that though, I just got a very interesting message from the buyer and he says it's kind of hard to tell what is an intentional scuff and what is not. Is this console functioning? So apparently he didn't even read the listing. I state very clearly in the description that it works fine as far as I've tested it. But as any eBay seller knows, people don't generally read the description when they're buying something. So I need to reply to this buyer, but now let's take a look at the numbers. Okay, next message from the buyer. Are you including any cables with it? Your ad is bare bones. That's because I'm selling exactly what's in the pictures. Also, when you get messages like this right after you get a sale, you can bet that the buyer is gonna find something wrong with it and send it back. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but with my experience with eBay, that's what I'm expecting. I paid $418, that includes shipping for this console. I just sold it for $255. There's gonna be about $25 in fees. I also charge shipping which was $19. That could be a little more or a little less than that. So these fees are approximate. That brings my total loss to $188. Actually not too bad considering I didn't buy it to try and make money, but this isn't including video profit. And that's the reason I bought the console. And when I consider the profit from the video, I will turn a profit on this Xbox One X. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching this video today. It was definitely a little bit different, but unfortunately, sometimes I buy broken items that just aren't broken. But I hope you still enjoyed the video. Thank you to iFixit for sponsoring this video. Thank you again for watching it, and I hope you have a good one.